Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today I'm really excited. I'm gonna be showing you how to use green screen inside of InShot. It's a brand new release, brand new update. I'm so excited to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On this channel, we do tech explained simply, video editing made easy. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Would love to have you be part of the squad. Speaking of online family, I need to give a quick shout out to, of course, all of my channel members. You know who you are, I love you all, and Platinum members always get on-screen mention in every single video. So thank you to TubeBuddy for being a Platinum level member. Now, if you want to learn how to edit this year, you can always go to iMovieMadeEasy.com and I will teach you from zero to hero all in iMovie. But today is not about iMovie, it's about InShot, which is one of my absolute favorite programs when it comes to editing on my phone. Now, I have tested, you can get InShot on your iPhone as well as Android devices. So it's got that going for it. This week, for me at least, there was an update and now InShot supports green screen, also known as chroma key effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you my screen so we can go through it together. So after you've downloaded InShot, the first thing you're gonna do is go into the video section because we are going to be making a video. So we're gonna select that and then I'm gonna go ahead. You can see I have been using InShot for a very long time. You can see down here, there's 142 different videos already that I've made. So obviously you can see I like this app a lot. So we're gonna go back into this one right here with my cute puppy Cooper. If you've been here on my live streams, you see him. He's very talkative. He's very cute, isn't he? So. If we're going to do a green screen, we're gonna go ahead and need a green screen. If you were watching the video on how to create a green screen, if you've never done it before and you wanna do it even in Instagram, I have a video, I will link it up here in the card so you can go check that out. So you can do that, it's free. And let's go ahead and grab a green screen. The way that their green screen works, it's going to act as a PIP, which is short for picture in picture. So we are going to be adding a green screen to the top of this video and then using the Chrome a key effect to key out a color. So the way that that looks, we're gonna slide down here on the options along the bottom until you see the one that says PIP. So we're gonna grab that, and then we're gonna go in and grab our video. One thing I've done is I've collected them into folders or albums, however you like to call it, and I went ahead and selected one. I'm gonna go ahead and do if you recognize the ones with the math meme on it, then you probably just saw last week's video. If not, I will also link it up here in the cards. Go watch it, I think it's a good one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. It's about five seconds long. You can see it's not as big as the screen, so I am going to stretch it here so it is that size. And I can show you what it looks like if you don't stretch it as well. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that that clip is highlighted and on the top of the video. Now, of course, you wanna see the cute puppy underneath, right? Of course you do. All right, so let's just make sure that your clip is highlighted. Then we're gonna go into this option here that looks like a little person and hit chroma. That's short for chroma key. Then we're going to use our finger to select the color that we are going to be getting rid of. So in this case, it is a green screen. So we're going to put our finger and make sure that it's targeting a green color and we're gonna be replacing it with a transparency. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit green and there you go. Now you can see the cute puppy underneath and we still have the little thank you and the envelope animation from below. Now you can slide your finger along the bottom to kind of increase or decrease what that looks like and you'll see that as you do it, it's going to change the effect a little bit. There may be a little bit of, you know, outline on the green. So you wanna play with this so that it gets rid of most of it and you don't see any traces of green. So this is gonna to be to your liking though. So I'm gonna say right about here, looks good. Then you're gonna hit the little check mark saying that you are good to go. So now if you go through and scrub, you're gonna see that my little animation is plain and you get to see my cute puppy as well. How easy was that, right? Now let me show you what happens when you apply a green screen and you don't stretch it to size. All right, so here it is. This is the size when it first was added to the video. I'm gonna go into here and click this. I'm gonna hit the chroma. You're gonna do it here. So depending on how you do your strength and shadow, you can still get a pretty good effect you can still see a little bit of green there, that's okay. But one thing that's nice about this is now you don't have to resize your green screen just to move and make your green screen smaller. So that's awesome because before, you would either have to go back to your program and place it where you want it because a lot of programs aren't able to do 
just partial green screen. And so you'd have to export it, sometimes import it back. And I have a video on that, especially if you're doing it in iMovie, but they make it so simple here that they're just gonna allow you to resize the green screen while you're doing it which is amazing. So thank you to InShot for that. So you can see the section where the chroma key has actually been applied because of the blue indicator underneath the clip itself. So now you know how long that clip was. And if you wanted to, now is the time where you could just go ahead and add another green screen. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna hit pip. And I'm going to add this pip. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add these stars. We're gonna do that. You're gonna hit the chroma, get rid of that green, increase that strength just a little bit there move this and that looks good to me and we'll hit done so now as you go through we've got this animation and we have this animation so we have two different green screens I want to try a test and see if you can apply multiple overlays can we add another pip on top of where we are oh look at this you guys just to be sure I'm gonna make sure it goes over I'm gonna actually overlap it between the two that looks good there okay sweet we're gonna do the chroma effect this one's gonna be hard though because it is moving and doing lots of different things. Yeah, I'm not anticipating this is gonna go well, but look at this. Now you have the math effect going as well as the, um, the one with the envelope and then the one with the subscribe. So that's awesome right there. So two different overlays both green screen. This is amazing. So InShot, you totally have my heart. Thank you for making this. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Come find me on all of my social sites. It's a good time. TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in a video next week. Bye.